Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm excited to be with you here today on Fun Friday. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you've gotten a lot done today and this week and that you have, have some exciting plans for the weekend. I hope you're doing what you truly love or at least you have plans to do what you truly love and you're working towards it. I spoke yesterday about, about all the jobs and I, and I didn't mention all the jobs that I've had, but I mentioned a few of them. The, the challenging jobs that I had getting up at 3.30 in the morning and working um, as a janitor at BYU, Brigham Young University, or um, helping take care of elderly people in a group home. And it was just me cleaning, cooking, uh, bathing, taking them to the restroom, all of that stuff, I did it. And so there were some jobs that, you know, all the jobs that I, I worked in just helped build my character and build the life that I have right now. And um, for Fun Friday, I'm just, I'm having a lot of fun. The horse that I'm riding right now, uh, her name is Switch. So Switch is a, a 20 plus year old, probably quarter horse mare who came to me. Uh, she had an accident with her owner. Her owner was started riding her. She's kind of new to him. And he's been out of horses for quite a while. He had horses when he was younger, as far as I understand it, but has not been in horses for a long time. And he was apparently using a bit that might've been too too hard on her. He didn't know that and um, she reared up and flipped over with him not completely backwards but went to the side and flipped over all four feet came off the ground and injured him pretty good and thank goodness it didn't it didn't do any anything worse than that to her or him and uh <clears throat> she's here with me to work on that and to try to find any holes that she might have uh that that could have caused that. And I think, again, the bit was probably one of the things he showed me the bit. It's a shank bit that is probably a little too much for her. Maybe she wasn't used to something like that. Horses that are in shank bits, they, they should be really well trained. A shank bit will always cause a horse to, that rears, that is a chronic rearer, cause them to rear more because it, it, it makes them feel claustrophobic. It squeezes on their pole, it squeezes under their chin and in their mouth. At a minimum, it squeezes in three places they feel pressure points in three places and it can make them feel really claustrophobic and make them and cause them to rear up and flip over so that's uh something that's very dangerous so when i'm working with her i'm all i'm only in a snaffle bit and i've been working on things like lateral flexion vertical flexion and backing with some vertical flexion and rounding out her back and making sure she collects and doesn't start to raise up and that's a tendency that she has even in a snaffle bit as she starts to back up she starts to raise up and i can feel that if i put too much pressure on her she might come up and rear up so we want to we're working on that working on her collecting and moving her feet instead of uh, instead of rearing up and being dangerous. So she's she's doing really well uh, in, in for, for the most part. And she's only with me for two weeks. I think we're gonna get to the, the bottom of her issues and she's gonna go back to her, her owner nice and, and safe. And he, I'm gonna do some training with him as well, some lessons with him so that he understands what to do, what not to do with her to make sure that doesn't happen again. And um, for for fun friday again i hope you guys are having a great day i hope you have plans for the weekend to do something fun uh, stacy and i are going to have our our weekly date tonight we're really excited about that last weekend we went all the way up to springerville arizona i don't know if you know where that is but it's east no, kind of northeastern arizona and uh, had a great time up there looking at some properties and seeing that beautiful beautiful country up there is pretty awesome it kind of reminded me of northern north central colorado and some of the plains, high plains areas up there in the mountains. And um, I had a joke for you today. Now, I respect trainers a lot. I've, I've done a lot of training in my life and a lot of training for other people and trained many, many horses for people. And I've dealt with people and dealt with different, you know, different personalities and different horses. And there's a lot to deal with as a trainer. And so I highly respect trainers and the effort that they put forth to try to help people and help their horses and help them develop a safer, funner relationship. And we don't necessarily do it uh, to become wealthy. We do it because we love what we do. And I truly love what I do here at Riata Horsemanship. And so the joke I have has to do with that. Um, it, it goes like this. What do trainers who are, uh, let's see, let me, let me go again. Okay, what, what do trainers who are older, um, they are injured, and they have a small fortune have in common? The answer is, they were once younger, healthy, and had a large fortune. <laughs> oh, 
I hope, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. I really appreciate you listening to this video and make sure to go to join.ladyhorseboss.com and, and join us, get our newsletter, get my free desensitizing videos and guide. If you go there, join.ladyhorseboss.com, you can certainly join, uh, join and get those things for free. And we'll also give you a chance to join the membership for only $1.97 for the first month. But you can get that, that stuff for free if you guys just go to join.ladyhorsepaws.com. Hope you have a good, a great weekend. Have a fun Friday. Until next time, be thankful, live with purpose, live with passion, and as always, stay safe in the saddle.